Welcome back. You're watching Creating Cooperative Kids, and I'm your host, Bill Corbett. Be all you can be. That may have been the recruitment slogan for the U.S. Army for many years prior to 2001, but it also could be used by my next guest, who inspires children to be all that they can be, and then some. Tam Veyu, or Tam I Am, as she's known, <laughs> is a transformational speaker and author of several books, including the children's book, Molly Kite's Big Dream. Uh, we're lucky enough to catch her on her big dream tour, by the way, as she sets out to transform the lives of children by teaching them to dream big. Thanks for being here, Tam. I'm excited. Thank you. We had a very busy day today. You uh, made the circuit on NBC, local NBC affiliate, and yes. got you in front of 150 school children to do what we're basically about to talk about here. It was fun. It was a great day. It was excellent. So why did, why did you get into this, first of all? Well... Hindsight is twenty twenty, right? Um, I wish I knew then what I know now. Um, I wish I had started learning about goal setting, dreaming, and all that when I was much, much younger. Most people don't wake up until they're in their late 20s, early 30s. I say, why don't we start our kids dreaming younger? Personal development, let's get them thinking about who they are. So tell us a little bit more about the message that you sent. Now, I saw your message today. It was <laughs> awesome. I tell you, she, she captured the attention of 150 school children in the hot summer. We're in the summer of time right now and when we're taping the show. And they were all engaged in a presentation. So tell us more about the message that you left them with. Because we know they got it. Uh, there were several young children that she asked questions. And th they couldn't wait to jump up and tell her exactly what they had learned from their presentation. It's all about dream do have set the dream clearly uh, believe in it and in yourself and take action steps toward it it's the ABC's of dreaming that's what I teach with the special underlying message that attention really is magic so one of the things that she did in her presentation was she created the character from uh, Molly Kite from yes. Molly Kite's Big Dream her book and presented on the screen she had a, a PowerPoint presentation so she actually read the book to the children using PowerPoint and being there in front of the children. Also had uh, some special effects in, uh, in her video presentation. And you gave them the ABCs and they, they knew them. Tell, tell us what the ABCs were. The ABCs of dreaming for kids. A. A is attention. you got to focus on the dream. What is it and how excited are you about it? And talking to people, knowing your, your vision, giving it attention every single day. Focus. B. Believing in the dream. I believe I can do this. I believe I can have this. I believe I'm good enough for this. There's your B. C, constant action. Every day I move towards my goal in some way. Whether it's just thinking about my dream and feeling really excited about it or taking an actual step like maybe doing research or looking at photos of whatever your dream is to be, do, and have. The book I think is really good because it creates a character about how it actually could happen. Mm -hmm in the story she she believes that she wants to be a potter right and but she's like but how I mean I can't tell you how many times that uh, you know I've heard kids say I could never do that my own daughter when she was a, a very young teenager she came to me and she said um, I think I know what I'm supposed to do in this world my dream my goal is to do something with animals but I can't do it. I'm only 13. I'm only 14, whatever it was. She says, how can I do it? And so I told her, which was the C uh, from your formula, do it anyway. Do right. it every day. So in my situation, what I did was I told her to go get me the yellow pages to help. And I said, uh, go find all the listing for the uh, shelters animal shelters oh, yes. and to call around until you could find one that would take a volunteer cat petter in, 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 a, in a shelter like that. So that's your C is to get out there and do it anyway. And uh, my daughter once asked me, but how do I know if I'm doing the right thing? What if it's not my goal that I'm supposed to do in this life? And I said, it all, it's how it feels. Exactly. How does it feel? If it feels good right. and it's not hurting you, it's not hurting anyone else, right. not infringing upon anyone's rights. Just continue to do it because it means you're headed in the right direction, right? Perfect. You, that's a great example of not doing it for them. You're just encouraging the dream. You're helping her figure out how to make the dream happen. I love that story. <laughs> so tell us about your big dream tour. What is, your, what is your goal, your dream to do? Absolutely. The dream big tour is all about touching as many kids and caregivers as I can. Do you know how many parents, how many adults don't write their goals down? They don't set dreams. 
3% of the population are writing down their dreams. When you hand write something, 8,000 neurons go off in your brain. When you type it on the computer, 8 neurons go off in your brain. Look at the power in handwriting something. You're activating so much energy into it. So parents don't even write down their dreams. So the Dream Big Tour is to get the caregivers and the kids to start setting dreams, believing in themselves, believing in the dream, and going for it. Now that I think is an important thing about your tour because kids, we could, we could teach kids to dream all they want mm -hmm. and they do a pretty good job but if they walk back into the home and their dreams are shot down by parents or teachers or caregivers who are not encouraging, it could be difficult for them to keep their, their dream alive, right? Absolutely, it can be. Uh, I really encourage caregivers to be mindful. Uh, that's, that's a great key word in this, you know, be mindful that kids have dreams and a comment loosely sent into a conversation can make or break a kid sometimes so we really need to be careful be mindful and encourage the dream every day ask your kids did you do anything towards wanting to be a veterinarian you know what did you do today did you think about it did you talk about it whatever just encourage the dream as a parent now that would be a good idea I think uh, with parents working with children is to make a list of all the the C's what are what's a big list that Constant could be action. C's right whether it's talking about it, writing a note about it, drawing a picture about mm -hmm. it, uh, telling someone else about it. Exactly. So like you said in your presentation, just tell your friends about it. The more we say it, it also makes a, an impression upon us. Exactly. And, and so that would, be a, that would be a good technique to uh, maybe at the end of the day, what one thing did you do in your C, right? Exactly. I think keeping a journal like that would be a terrific idea for, for family to get together and really pull together and grow the dream together. And family dreams. What do we want to do as a family? I actually have friends who do that. Every January, during the first week of January, they sit down. What are our family goals and dreams? What do we want? Oh, we want to go to Mexico. Well, hmm, that might be nice, but what about we do Florida? Oh, yeah, we all want to go to Florida. They put pictures, they sign their names to it, and they, they put it right in their entryway. So when everybody walks into their home, they're sharing their dream with the world. And then they take steps towards making it happen. And I think one of the biggest problems with, with parents today is the level of discouragement that they have from the past and if they work on being more mindful breathing exercises they are not going to change their life incredibly overnight but they can help their children dream big listen thank you so much for coming out and being on the show today thank you and helping uh, parents everywhere to let your kids dream big and some specific things that you can do especially by letting your child know about Molly Kite and an example that they can live by thanks Teaching children to become masters of their attention can bring about amazing changes in a child's life. So what can parents do today to promote that attention? One solution is to help build their accountability of everyday responsibilities, such as homework. On the other side of this break, I'll share my answer to a parent's question about what to do with sudden late-night announcements from your child. Don't go away. <laughs> 